Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So first question, tell us your name, what you do, and how you got started. So my name is Carly Woods, and I started cosplaying about six years ago and started doing it professionally slash full-time about three years ago. And I got started because I was in film school, and after film school, I started working with Fan Expo Canada, filming a YouTube series, which was called Geek and Gorgeous. And funny, because yeah. Leanna was the first person, or you were the first person <laughs> yeah. that I interviewed, or one of the first persons. People. <laughs> Can we just do it again? <laughs> okay, okay, let's do it again. Okay. Um, so, tell us your name, what you do, and how you got started. My name is Carly Woods. <laughs> My name is Carly Woods. I started cosplaying about six years ago and started doing it full time about three years ago. And I started in the industry because um, after film school, I started doing a YouTube series called Geek and Gorgeous, which you know because you were one of the first people I um, interviewed for Fan Expo or my YouTube series. And I started interviewing cosplayers, not knowing really what it was, and I fell in love with it. And I was like, this is really cool. You can do this full time. Mm -hmm. So I ended up going back to school for fashion, learned how to sew a little bit, um, and then I started cosplaying, and it kind of just like stumbled into a career. Yeah. Okay, so I know this is a question we get a lot, and it's kind of one of the more boring questions, but the fans want to know. Uh, what was your first cosplay, and what's your favorite right now? Okay, my very first cosplay that I ever did was Black Canary. It was just a closet cosplay. And that, that was a closet cosplay. The first one that I ever made myself was my Edward Scissorhands. And uh, yeah, it was really, it's, it I like it. Really I like cute. it. Yeah. And what I am working on right now, or my favorite? Um, your favorite right now, because I know for most people that changes, you know, yeah. from month to month it's different. So what's your favorite one right now? I feel like my favorite costume forever is going to be R2-2-2, just because it's R2-D2, but it's a 2-2, yeah. and I love I it. I love the 2-2 series, yes. personally. I like the BB-8. The BB-8 is the best. And my, my um, Harley Quinn 2-2 I love because I like the Swarovski crystal bra. Sparkle boobs. Sparkle boobs. Okay, so what would you say is the good, bad, and the ugly about cosplay? Start with the good. Okay, you're putting me on the spot I know, here. That's the whole point. I know. Okay, so the good is friendship. Just honestly, meeting people and traveling because there's there's so many places that you I wouldn't really go to or could afford to just go see and yeah. I get to go to all these cool cities for different cons, so I really like that aspect of it as well. Um, the bad would be the stress of it all. It's people People don't realize, I think, okay, stress is probably one part of it, but the other part is that people from the outside don't understand. Seems very glamorous from the outside. Yes, they don't yeah. understand the, the hard parts of cosplay and the detail that goes into it, yeah. but also the multitasking because we are doing admin work, we're doing emails, we're doing, you know, all the crafting, we're doing mm -hmm. all of the editing, we're doing all of the social media. It's, yep more than just one job it's and a ton of different boss, exactly and you, you have to hold yourself accountable yes. for everything you do yeah so. you have to have the hustle and you have to have motivation and i think the hardest part is sometimes you lose that motivation in yourself mm -hmm. so having to find that motivation is difficult i'm trying to learn how to balance my life and work mm -hmm. um and what was the last question the ugly, the ugly. yeah oh the drama <laughs> Uh, no, there's drama. Uh, yeah, just drama. People, people just being silly. And I think with any industry, there's yeah. always the drama. So yeah. it's all in how you handle it. Yes, exactly. Okay, what uh, advice, if you could go back, you know, we all started, we were all stressed out, we didn't know what we were doing. Yeah. What advice would you give to newcomers? To newcomers. Um, in cosplay, like social media, all of it. Everything. Everything. Like, what do you wish someone told you before you started? someone did tell me this, but I wish I actually listened, mm -hmm. was to figure out your brand. And I did know what I wanted to do, but I didn't really know the niche and the exact path that I wanted to take. And now I know where I want to go with it. Mm -hmm. Before I started out with Geek and Gorgeous, it was kind of like a web series and we wanted to have multiple hosts and all these different things. And it, so big. it was so big yeah. and it, was too, it wasn't going to happen. And I didn't realize that it needed to be smaller. Mm -hmm. And going back, I feel like we could be, you know, three years ahead yeah. if we hadn't had that, you know, little fumble at yeah. the beginning. But you live and you learn. Exactly. I learned so much. Um, 
but yeah, I guess that would be a big thing. And if you are a newcomer to, yeah, have a brand and, and just understand what you want out Mm -hmm. of everything, but also what you want of cosplay. Some people want to start cosplaying, but do they want to start because it's fun? Do they want to start because they want to be doing it full time? Mm -hmm. But then which path do you want to take it? Do you want to be a full time seamstress? Do you want to sell your costumes? Do you want to be on social media? Yeah. Need to know. And what path do you get? Where you want to go. Goals. Goals. Goals are important. (laughs) Okay, let's talk about Patreon because Patreon seems to be the go-to for all of our fans and a place Mm -hmm. that they can get like exclusive content. But what do you think about the trend with cosplayers pushing the boundaries on Patreon? You've been seeing that a lot. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I mean, you do you, Mm -hmm. you know, you do what you want. I feel like there's a lot of pressure because I'm on Patreon and there are people doing bigger or sexier things than Mm -hmm. I'm doing and I don't want to go down that route. And I feel like there is pressure because there are people that want to see that. And it's just very oversaturated at the moment. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's so many people on Patreon, so you really have to be consistent and posting lots of new stuff and exciting things. I just, I, I love Patreon. I think it is so much fun and a great way to be um, more genuine and, and like yeah. just direct, direct with people. Fans, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, well, I, we call ourselves Team Tutu now because of oh, all the tutus. Cute. Yeah, so Team Tutu. Um, it's just a better way to like be connected. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of stress with that. Um, but yeah, because like, people can come direct. It's not like with social media, you post something and maybe not everybody sees it. I just want everybody to be happy. Yeah. And that's just a thing that I need to work on because I do struggle with that. I, if, yeah. no, if people aren't happy, You're a I get, pleaser, I'm a I people, oh, I get so anxious if people aren't happy. I'm like, no, what do you want to see? I'll do it. I'll do more. I promise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with, I guess the, the boundaries, yeah, people are pushing boundaries. Where do you see the future of Patreon going? Um, well, the best thing is they now have the live streaming service, so you can live stream directly with Patreon, which is amazing because mm-hmm. I do a lot of streaming on Twitch, so having that and I can do like a private stream is really great. Right. Um, and I just, yeah, I want it to just go more that route. I like, for me, I feel like my Patreon is going towards more of like a friendship. I want to be someone's friend. I want to talk to you guys and just be one-on-one more than a fan club. I want to be friends with yeah. everybody. I like that. Yeah. It's a good use of the tool. Yeah. Um, so in other industries, people typically choose to do something different to stand out. They want to mm-hmm. stand out from the crowd. But in cosplay, we see a lot of the same trends copied or repeated. How mm-hmm. do you feel about that? Just with costumes? Um, just in general. In general. So I feel like if you like something, you should be able to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I actually did a panel yesterday and we were talking about this because if you want to be relevant in the cosplay community, there are things that are more popular mm-hmm. and they're trending. Yeah. So you need to stay on top of those right. things. Like Wonder Woman is really popular because of the movie that's out right now. I love you, and Woman. yeah, thank you. <laughs> and like Spider Man is really popular at the moment. So yeah. there's a lot of I've seen a ton of new MJs coming out. Um, there's tons of Wonder Woman, and that's great because it gives you that exposure in the moment, right. and you can Relevance. go. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's relevant, and you can go viral with different costumes. So that's what you want out of it, then it's a really great idea to stay relevant. Um, But I feel like with people copying, if you like somebody's work and you want to do a spin on it or Mm -hmm. copy it exactly, you definitely need to give somebody credit. You need to credit them. Every time you post a picture, you need to credit them. Or if you're inspired by somebody's outfit, then you need to credit their work. Exactly. Just a little shout out. Um, so who would you say has inspired you to be creative or to take the path that you have? You. Aww. That was cute. That was really cute. <laughs> <I love her. laughs> no, really, like, um, there's been a bunch of people that have been, um, creative, uh, influences, um, who, oh, man, you're putting me really on the spot <laughs> right now. Like, oh my God, can I, like, really, any, I, mean, I want to, like, think. I said, like, a, I I didn't say like a person. It could be anything. Like, is there anything? Well, I'm that just thinking like you? Jamie Tyndall, like his oh, yeah, his that's... work, his artwork. Yeah. Um, I've seen a ton of his different things, and I've actually based some of my costumes off of his artwork, which is really popular right yeah. now. Um, so he's really great. Um, your just like y- your personality and <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> we had that. We had like a we had a moment at the panel. And we did, yeah. And I was like. I'm, I'm trying to think of the right word. Not 
personality is one word, but um, uh, just the, your morals, the way you work is, is, is good. And I Thank just you. really want, I want, when I was younger and didn't know what I was doing, getting into the industry, I was like, I'm going to do what Leanne is doing because oh. she's got it going on. She knows I what try. she's doing. Yeah. But that you, means a lot. But like we said before, you're the mama bear of our group. And you I want to make sure everyone's ex- okay. Exactly. Happy. You're friendly and you let everybody in. You give everybody the time of day. Even if sure. they don't have followers, there's, that's the thing. Is in this industry, there's a ton of social climbers. Mm-hmm. And you just accept everybody. And that's what I wanted to like. I wanted to be like that. Oh, thank you. That's yeah. really sweet. <laughs> nice and fuzzy Wait, inside. Um, so kind of on that note, how would you like to inspire others with what you do? I, like that, I guess. Yeah. I really want people to just have fun and um, just live their life and just, yeah, just have fun. Do what they want yeah, to do. Yeah, just do what you want to do and just be happy. I want people to come into my Twitch streams or onto my videos or my, my Instagram and just be happy and, and just get inspired off of like maybe not even what I'm wearing or what mm-hmm. I'm creating, but just like my energy that I'm giving out. I want people to like give me good vibes and Put, put that out there. Put that out into yeah, the universe. Out, There's too much negativity. Need I to, agree. need to be zen. Yeah. On that note, that was, we're well, leaving it on a good note, but okay. moving to Instagram. Yep. What are some of the funniest slash weirdest things that you've gotten on your DMs right now, your direct messages? Do I get to look? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. You know what? It's weird because I don't actually get really creepy stuff. Again, with the positive energy, yeah. I feel like, Okay, if I say this on on a camera, yeah. now people on the internet are going to go and creep me. <laughs> but I've said this before on, on Twitch. I feel like I don't put out that energy and I just have no tolerance for it and mm-hmm. I don't get it back. Yeah. And if I do get something, I'll just ignore it or delete it. Yeah. But let's see. Let me see. Um, okay, so the last one is the next, the last DM that I have is from somebody that was in the panel today because mm-hmm. I was just streaming or... Um, Instagramming in Jimmy John's with the mayo. I saw, okay. Carly talking, really likes mayo. I really like mayo, like a lot, like too much. And in Jimmy John's, they had like, I'm not even kidding, like 30 tubs of mayo on the wall. Mine. And I was just like, oh my God, I'm in heaven. So someone's like LOLing at that. Um, yeah, let your me weird see. fascination with Yeah, mayonnaise. exactly. What? I'm trying to see, like, what do I get? It's fine if you don't have anything weird. That's actually a good thing. There's really not too many weird things. I wish I, I had something weird. There, everyone's just like sending hearts and... See, you put positive energy, yeah. you get love. You get love Honestly, back. like there's... Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Wait, we'll move on. That's good. We don't need to Sorry, search guys. for anything bad <laughs> if you don't have it. So in your last 10 posts on Instagram, what's been your most popular, Im- popular image and why do you think that is? Can I look? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Most popular image. Okay, 10, 1, 2, 3. Like the first uh, three rows, like a nine, three rows around that. Well, I haven't posted any good stuff for the last three, <laughs> three rows, okay? <laughs> oh, wait, what? this one. It's not con related. It's my James Bond photo. <laughs> this is me. This is my James Bond photo. Um, Rob and I were on our boat and we were taking pictures in the water. And someone asked me what my James Bond name would be, and it'd be Svetlana. Svetlana. Do you have a last name? I didn't think that okay. far. Um, Svetlana. I like that. It's good. It, that's it's pretty good. It's very James Bondy. And then the other new stuff is just Wonder Woman. Yeah. So new James Wonder Bond Woman. takes the win. Ta- James Bond that's takes the win. That's a great photo. Yeah. Um, so what are you working on right now and pursuing in life? Um, well, current costume, I told you earlier, mm-hmm. I'm working on a couture, 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 aerial costume, Disney costume. It's going to be like this beautiful beaded, um, emerald green dress it's gonna be with like, like danglies and no, it's going to be oh, form oh. fitting, uh, at, like a mermaid dress, mm-hmm. but at <laughs> fitting, right. And then the mermaid part is going to be a tutu, oh, like, cute. well, tool material. Yeah. So it'll still kind of look like a tutu and fit yeah. into tutu series. But it'll be a little bit tighter. Okay. Um, so I'm working on that and currently um, just partnered with Twitch. So I'm just working on Twitch and streaming and just building up a great Team Tutu community. Awesome. So any last words that you want to let the fans know and also tell them where they can find you social media wise. You can find me on Team Tutu. We always do that, Team Tutu. Um, social media is It's Carly Woods. Literally, I-T-S Carly Woods because somebody stole my name. And Lame. yeah, Twitch is Carly Woods as well. 
And I stream two days a week, maybe more. And I stream at cons. So if you guys can't make it to a convention, you can come on my stream and we can go to the convention together. Carly is the master at stream. She's teaching me the ways of Twitch, so yeah. I really appreciate it. I can't wait for you to start Twitch. And I, on that note, we are done. But I have something for you. Oh my and feel God. free. It's goodies from me to you. Is this going to pop? Right now. No. Is it a snake thing that pops? Would I do that to you? Yes! How do I open it? How do I open it? There's a little, you have to pull the little. Thing. Yeah, because it's going to pop out. You're trying to keep your composure. <laughs> oh, I told you! I knew I should have wrapped it I knew it! I had a feeling that you were going to trick me See, to do something. Right. Well, thank you very much. You did awesome. Okay.